you know, getting on the water could be especially fun this summer. Yeah, it's already a record year for fishermen in Minnesota rivers and lakes. These four fish have shattered state records in just the past few months. Take a look at your screen. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield explains why so many of us are reeling in big ones. Fresh air, the camaraderie, and sometimes the yield. This Northview Middle School field trip to Fort Snelling is clearly a success. Fishing's great. We're catching a lot of fishes. It's so open and green. When you like catch your first bass, it's fun and I think it makes you want to fish more. And this may be the year to fish more, according to the experts. Well, the trend right now is is we've got records uh, coming out of our lakes and rivers right now that uh, is unprecedented for state records. It's just incredible. Michael Curry oversees fishing records at the Department of Natural Resources. If you can fish for a record, that's great, but most of them are caught accidentally. And personally, I have a muskie that was 54 and a half inches. I was smallmouth fishing when I caught it. Here's the proof. And he's far from alone. So far, there are four state records for short nosed gar, sturgeon, and golden red horse, and the number is climbing. I think it has a lot to do with a, the, a lot of the healthy waters that we have right now, and I think it's very good management and catch and release practices that seem to be making the difference. It's clear something is working. The fish are biting, and the timing could not be better. Just in time for summer. Well, the big sturgeon catches, they are usually near the Canadian border, but they tell me at DNR, they're seeing big catches all over the state. If you do catch a big one, you can submit it for a record. You'll need to have a photo of the fish beside a ruler for measurement, and you need a witness there to verify. All right. Good luck. Yeah, I love those photos. Those are some huge fish. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you.